Namaste everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D and right now I'm on Siesta Key Beach and you guys are going to join me for my walk of gratitude. Uh, behind me uh, you can see Crescent Beach and beyond that is the main beach where later on today I'll be having our N5D beach meetup from 3 to 6 p.m. and then there's the drum circle afterwards. Where we're heading is down here and there's a seawall down there that I do my, well that the seawall is actually my reminder to do my uh, gratitude, to give my gratitude. So it's a beautiful day here, uh, a few clouds out, uh, seagulls flying, people walking. Uh, Siesta Key is a large barrier island where I believe it's eight miles long and there's uh, several different beaches here. On the north end, uh, where it ends, there, it, there's a pass called Big Pass. And across from Siesta Key Beach is Lido Key Beach. And Lido Key Beach is where I had the first N5D conference back in 2013. So heading north going south, you have the main beach, um, which is where uh, I have the beach meetups by the Green Lifeguard House. And uh, that's, as a matter of fact, uh, the Green Lifeguard House. My buddy uh, Scooter is a lifeguard there. And he's the one that taught me how to surf. So, very grateful for that. Um, coming down around the corner, you'll see it arcs. And there's that's, that's where it's called Crescent Beach. And where we're heading is down toward, it's called Point of Rocks. And uh, Point of Rocks is wonderful if you want to go uh, snorkeling. I have one of those full face um, scuba masks uh, made by Triboard and it's, it's wonderful. You can breathe both through your nose and through your mouth with the, uh, this, this particular mask. Okay, so we're heading down. Right now we're heading towards Beach Access 12. This is the spot where I would park and before I park I would envision that the best spot is available not just one best spot three best spots right there uh, the best three spots available that way I'd always get my my choice of parking and uh, I've posted pictures numerous times of me actually getting the best spot I couldn't tell you I, I used to take pictures all the time when I had to park there and every time I got the uh, best spot, I would always uh, take a picture and not necessarily post it, but it would just be my, my little cosmic joke with the universe, how the universe is always looking out for me. Now, I had a dream before I moved back to Siesta Key. This is the third time I've, I've lived here in Siesta Key. And uh, right after I... I moved here I had this dream saying that I was exactly where I need to be on the grid now the place I have it's a house on Midnight Pass Road and it's uh, it's got gates in front of it. it's a gated community but yet my house is right in front of the gate <laughs> now as you guys know there's a stargate here in Siesta Key that's Gosh, I think it's about 60 some odd miles out from, from the beach. And in our 2013 conference, Lisa Renee came down and what she ended up doing was, oh, hang on, there's a, you guys see this? Are you okay, buddy? Hang on, there's a, it's, there's a hurt seagull here. I'll, I'll resume in a minute. That's that. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. This felt so badly for him. Is it common that they defecate something green? No. Because that's by your foot there. This is defecation. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, well, I had to take a little break there and uh, babysit an injured seagull who had a, what looked like a broken wing, maybe, and a hurt leg, and he couldn't speak. He was just opening his mouth and it's as if he was begging for someone to help him. So I finally got a hold of somebody, <laughs> and uh, he came and, and rescued him. He's going to take care of him, uh, bring him to a vet, an animal uh, safety place in Venice. So where I left off was um, I was talking about Lisa Renee and how she was one of the speakers at my conference in 2013. And she mentioned that there's a Stargate here in Siesta Key. But at the time, apparently, malevolent extraterrestrials were using it to come in and out. So when we asked her if she wanted to be a speaker here, she said, hell yeah. And she came down and she ended up closing that. She works with the Ar Arcturians and she ended up closing that Stargate. So I find it really ironic that, you know, here I am on Siesta Key. My house is right in front of a gate, a, a gated community. And here I am with my guides telling me I'm exactly where I need to be on the grid. So what I'm doing is I'm walking towards Point of Rocks in the opposite direction of the main beach right now. And uh, that's where I do my walk of gratitude. I try to do this every day. I've written an article on N5D called Change Your Reality with a Walk of Gratitude and I highly recommend that you check it out because it really does make a huge difference. And one thing you can do too, like when you're walking on the beach, you know, you can smile and acknowledge people. But And you can do this anywhere too, if you're at the mall, in the park, um, gosh, even driving. But you just smile and say hi to people, but in the, inside, send that love vibration, tell them. You know, internally, send that message, I love you, because every thought is energy, and this energy will make a difference in the world. And I try to include that now with my walk of gratitude, where at the end of my walk of gratitude, I, I turn back around and I walk back to where I am on the beach, and uh, I ask them to join me. And you'll see in a little while, I'm almost there uh, to the seawall. Like I said, that's, that's my reminder to give gratitude. And uh, gosh, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, the walk of gratitude. And to me, it's like one of the best ways you can ground. And not only ground, but to express that gratitude uh, for everything that you're grateful for. So... This is where I am. Uh, you can see the seawall over there. That's that's where I stop and uh, give that gratitude to. Did you so, see that bird? Yeah, yeah, like a guy came. Yeah. To, I was almost in tears. Um, there. me too. He came? Yes, yeah, he got him and he's gonna be taken to the it's Venice. Finished. It's okay, it's okay. He's gonna be taken to the Venice Rescue Center. Awesome. Thank you. So yeah, this is uh that was nice of her to mention that. Sorry about that. But uh, heading towards that seawall where um, this is where I do my walk of gratitude every day on Siesta Key Beach. And sometimes I actually just, I'll go out in the water because that will magnify the energy. Um, you know how water does that. You know, there was a study by Dr. Masaru Emoto on proving that water has consciousness. So when you can combine intentions with water, it only magnifies those intentions. So <clears throat> what I'm looking at is maybe about another 50 yards or so until I get there. I believe though, you know, because Siesta Key Beach has 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand, that helps to magnify your intentions. Uh, so, and I'm right next to the water, so the water is definitely picking up on the vibration as well to uh, further magnify those intentions. So, just about there right now. Um, I'm looking at some of these hotels here. There's actually beach cams on some of these hotels where you can just, 
if you want to visit Siesta Key Beach, go to uh, the website, just go to Google and type in Siesta Key Beach Cams. And I believe there's one beach cam, cam back there on that one. Um, where we're heading right now, this is kind of funny. They're on a, on MTV, there was a reality show called Siesta Key, and it's coming right up here. It's right over there. You can see it in, right behind me. Um, so what they want you to believe is that the star of the show owns the house, but everyone that lives here knows better. It's actually his dad. And his dad is 1-800-ASK-GARY, who's basically a lawyer referral service. So, <coughs> anyway, there's this uh, house on the end here that's really cool. Uh, it's right at the end of Siesta Key Beach and it has the seawall on it. Now, I was online looking at how much they want for it. I think they bought that house for, don't quote me on this, but around maybe 150000 and what they're asking to rent it for right now, I believe is about twenty or $30,000 a month to rent. So I'm sure that they've made their money many, many, many times over again on there. But ironically, I don't see a lot of people who are renting that house. So uh, on occasion, I'd imagine that if there was a corporate business that could use it as a tax write-off, then that's what they would do. And what a great place to have it. So, anyway, there's the Siesta Key MTV right behind me. Uh, Siesta Key MTV, where they did that um, reality show. And I'm just about to where I stop to give my gratitude. And this is it right here. This is the beach wall right behind me. Now, if you're ever in Siesta Key and you're looking for the best shells on the beach, what a lot of people do is they walk up to this seawall behind me and they stop and they turn back. But what they don't realize is that the best shells are right around the corner. And it's you got to wade through water that's maybe, I don't know, up to your waist at, at the worst. And then you just go around that seawall and the, the best shells on Siesta Key are, are right here. So... Anyway, this is what I do right here for my walk of gratitude. And I'm gonna start it right now. Dear Creator, Source, Universe, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and Mother Earth. I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should. Please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support and protection and abundance in everything that's good in life, as I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. I ask that you help me open up all the codons in my DNA so I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interest. I also ask that you unlock all current, past, and future strands of DNA so I can heal myself and humanity's best interest, as well as others. And more than anything, I love you all so very much. I ask that you join me on my walk back in a love bubble meditation where we magnify our loving healing energy from our heart center and send it out as far as we can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. I wanna thank everyone that joined me for this walk of gratitude and love bubble meditation. Sending much love to everyone. This is Greg from uh, Siesta Key. I love you all. Take care.